Hey guys, it's me Kenya and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to part two of my plant collection video. Um, if you haven't, in case you haven't seen the first one, I recommend watching it. But this is gonna be the second one. I'm trying to get through this video with showing you guys all these plants without this video being super long. And I also want to mention I've been getting a lot of positive feedback on my last video and I really do appreciate it. I'm actually learning so much like through the comments alone. I got these for my birthday. Um, oddly enough, they look low-key like me. It's like a pink um variegation. They came in one pot and I separated it into two. I have these two begonias right here. This one's a newer purchase, so it's all like broken up. I got it from Home Depot. And then this one, begonia, I got online. It's a Little Miss Sherry. Um, this was my very first begonia ever. I do have two more, but they're outside. Here's a closer look at the variegation on this one. Next, this is my Chinese money plant. It is still a very, very small plant. I really do like, like how this plant looks. And I actually just want to buy a big one. I really want to enjoy like a bigger floor size one so i might end up purchasing one i'm not sure i have this anthurium flamingo this is my only um anthurium and as you can see there is no blooms at all they pretty much all browned and fell off and i think that has to do with humidity and i also did put this plant outside for a little while i just brought it in because it's time to bring all my plants in the next two plants i have they're different but they're pretty much in the same family i have this prayer plant right here and then I also have this Calathea. I do not know the variegations off the top of my head right now. Mine's give me absolutely like no problem. And they're actually some of my favorite plants in the collection. I do like how they open and close like during the day and night. It's very interesting. And also this one has had two new leaves. You can see, and this one has opened up like six or seven leaves since I bought it. I have this aloe vera right here. And I just bought it in for being outside. Got this plant in a little two inch pot from TikTok shop. And now look at it, it's like so much bigger now. So I have this moonshine snake plant, which as you can see, the leaves are not at all silver. This plant does better outside, but like I said, um, I have to bring it inside. So that's why it's green. I'm keeping it underneath the grow light, but I just cannot seem to keep this these leaves like silver. And then this is the little propagation or little cutting I took from the full size one. This one pretty much grew out of the other end. Some people leave both of them in one pot, but I decided to repot the second one. And I'm not gonna lie, I just noticed that it has spider mites down inside of it. So I'm gonna have to um, take care of that after I film this video. The last, last, the last snake plant I have, I think it's either a moonshine snake plant or like a jade one. I don't remember the variegation. It's like the favorite, my favorite like snake plant in my collection. It's gonna be kind of hard to show you guys all of them, but I have three petunias. Here's two of them right here. You know, I, the ironic thing is I got this one at Home Depot for $6 and I got this one online for $18. Do you see the difference? And then I have another one right here. This one I actually got from Walmart. Leaves are a little bit curled on this one. I did really good at keeping the soil moist, but I kind of started neglecting it and now it's not very happy. I do really like Vitonias because I like all the different variegations they have and I do want more of my collection. I'm just going to hold off a little bit on that. This is my Philodendron Summer Glory and this is its newest leaf right here. I'm actually surprised by how perfect like this leaf came out. This leaf is literally the most perfect leaf I've ever seen. This is generally like one of my favorite plants. Like it's literally like so cute. This is the new little leaf that's coming in right now. And then this is my Philodendron Pink Glorisum. This is my newest leaf and it's honestly really big. Honestly, I haven't really had plants with like unique textures before this one. This one's like a really soft like velvet, sweet type, like not material, what was I gonna say material, type of um, feel or whatever. And it also came with this little one in the bottom. This one also has like a new little leaf coming in i don't know if i can show you guys it and this morning actually i actually put it on here because it was growing so far to the front so i was like i need to put it on like a pole or something i have this philodendron cream splash right here i actually bought this plant with only two leaves and i think this little two inch pot costed me twenty dollars for this plant with only two leaves and it has grown all of these leaves since then i didn't want to show this plant but I might as well. I don't know why this plant just doesn't like me. I can go two weeks without watering it and then the one day I water it, the leaves start yellowing and falling off. So I don't know what to do. I'm probably just gonna have to end up propagating it and starting all over again. This is my last philodendron. It's just a basic little green leaf one. Nothing special about this one. I'm not even gonna pretend like I know how to pronounce this plant. I don't. But I just got one of these without researching what it actually was. Because if I did my like research, I probably wouldn't have bought it beforehand. Not sure what's going on with the little crisping um, right here. I almost bought a variegated version, 
but I kind of talked myself out of it because I'm like, girl, I don't know nothing about these plants. All of the newer leaves are like growing in at the top here. I have two orchids. This is a mini orchid. I don't know what they're called, but this one like turned yellow and rotted off. And then this one, I don't know if the problem is like watering or light lighting. I'm not really sure. But this one, I ended up putting it outside because I heard orchids can be outside. I mean, it's been doing better outside than it has in my bedroom. I have this other orchid right here, way bigger than that one. What kind of blooms? It had pink or like a coral color bloom. The blooms fell off, so I cut down the stem, obviously. I have these two fern, Boston fern. I think it's anema or something like that. They were one big pot, and then I repotted them to three pots. I gave them to my coworker. Um, these ferns are actually like really, really cute. I'm trying my best to not let these ones get crispy, because I know like ferns tend to get crispy. It did go through a little bit of underwatering when it was in one big pot, but it's easier for me to take care of plants when they're in smaller pots. Just so that way I can learn what they like and all that stuff. So the last fern I have is a blue star fern this fern is doing absolutely terrible like, this plant actually looks worse than when i bought it which is honestly really sad i was kind of nervous to like buy ferns after this one even though i clearly did all right i have three more indoor plants to show you guys i have this money tree right here this one is i keep saying they're all my favorite but this one's one of my favorite plants right here um and it has so many new like leaves coming in the top which is really really nice i don't rotate this plant as much so i mean it's a little bit creaky and i have this little like ladder in there for like decor reasons i feel like i'll have to repot this plant soon just because it dries out really really quickly and i find myself watering it like almost twice a week so, this is my cat palm it took everything i mean not to buy a really big one because i low-key wanted like a really really big plant for my room and i'm still might give myself one one day but this is one of my favorite plants and i think this is like one of my only like pet friendly plants that i have in my collection let's just be honest i'm pretty sure what they have this potted in i got it from home depot so and then it has like a lot of new little like openings on it this one has a lot going on so it's kind of hard to tell that it's getting bigger so this is one of those plants i'll have to look at a picture and be like oh my gosh wait it has grown because this plant is kind of hard it has a lot of leaves going on as it is but i can't wait for this plant to actually be big because i actually do want a big one i almost forgot this one right here this is my spider plant it's a bonnie variegation and honestly i just now saw on tiktok that these plants don't like drying out this plant is always dry i'm constantly watering this plant we're gonna have to water this plant like today because i just realized the soil is dry oh my gosh whoa 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 this is my white bird of paradise yeah it looks really really bad long story about this one which i'm actually gonna get into the story in my first plant collection video then you would see how it looked to then this plant wasn't really doing very good i got it in the mail from home depot and their packaging sucked they didn't wrap it or nothing like that um so the leaves were damaged and then pretty much it had so much root rot there's actually two plants in this one pot but one got re rot and i had to well i repotted it it was in a huge pot um so i ended up pulling it out and at one point this plant only had one leaf which is this big one right here this one is the original leaf and it does have sunburn on it as you can see because i had it outside but having having this plant outside has made it such a better plant and now it is opening up a new leaf it's opened up two new leaves since it's been in my bedroom um this one and this one coming in right now but uh you guys should actually be proud of me for this plant because i kid you not i had to bring this plant back from the grave i'm very glad there's a new leaf coming in also hopefully it's a bigger one and here's actually a tour of my plant shelf. I have a lot going on. This is my top shelf right here. My next shelf, which has pretty much, these are supposed to be like my plants that need normal humidity or low humidity. This is where most of them are supposed to go. I have a few plants that actually could use a humidifier, but these plants do fine without one. This next shelf is my plants that actually do need a humidifier um, or that I prefer to keep by a humidifier which is honestly like most of the plants in my collection. And then I just have my ferns right here. I also forgot I have this um, this mistletoe cactus right here. And then this, um, what's this called? Humidifier, I got it on Amazon. And I do have um, some plant stands for my plants that are like, you know, further back. And then I have some smaller plants in the front. You just really can't like honestly see them too good. And then this next shelf, which my shelves are dirty, so don't mind that. But this next shelf has like, the plants i keep under my grow lights and i do obviously have another little humidifier right here i do feel like i should get like a bigger humidifier for the shelf um that way there's just more you know humidity going on and then got my feet plants over here this bottom shelf which is like really going through because the grow light um fell 
this shelf is where all of my like no humidity plants go or the plants that need like more light than others pretty much most of the plants that i actually keep outside like these ones here i would keep those outside but um since i could bring them inside this is where they're really supposed to go i'm definitely gonna have to go through and reorganize these shelves and clean them up a lot but that's besides the point all of my plant stuff over here as you can see peat moss perlite um lava rocks and then i have sphagnum moss at the bottom um but it's pretty self-explanatory though and then over here i have all of my like bigger plants this aglaonemia doesn't need as much light so it seems to do really good right here it's opening up its new leaves right now and then i have my orchids right here in the window which they'll go on the shelf at night um, when i close my window down but for now um i keep them in the window and this is the kind of stands they're pretty much all on i also forgot to show you guys i have these pothos hanging on the sides of my shelf also which is pretty useful i do like how this looks and i could do it again on the other side i got this for only three dollars at hobby lobby so i recommend going there good morning capital all right oh, excuse me this might be hard to film because of this boy right here um, but this is my little, like, outdoor plant area. It's very underwhelming right now. It needs a lot of work still. I just have these little stones here temporarily. This is actually one of my newest plants. It's a hibiscus. I don't know what it technically is. Oh, excuse me. Oh my gosh. But yes, all of these blooms are actually new. And then, I'm not going to know the names to most of these, like, plants out here. Honestly, I don't know the names to this one. Excuse me but this one it's a tropical plant i need to actually water all my plants now since it is still like the morning and then i have this canna lily right here this one's one of my favorite like variegations i will have to go and cut these dead ones out um to help the growth of the newer ones i might do that today and then here i have my mums they got destroyed and my mums got destroyed because of my dog he destroyed it but as you can see i have some new little groves growing in i had to repot them Go pups. But yeah, I have this like fruit tree. I do not know which fruit it is. I honestly don't remember. I'll insert it once I figure it out. Um, this plant is actually gotten surprisingly super tall. I just realized how tall this um, plant has gotten. Also, can we just take a moment to appreciate the blooms? 